Heat waves in Europe, floods in Pakistan, and droughts in both China and the United States. These are just some of the disasters directly linked to climate change so far this year. Some reckon blockchain technology could be one of the keys to trying to turn all of this around. Climate change is everywhere. Every headline, every day, in almost every part of the world, shows us what it's doing, and it's going to get worse. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres has said we're heading into uncharted territory. Floods, droughts, heat waves, extreme storms, and wildfires are going from bad to worse, breaking records with ever alarming frequency. According to the multi agency United in Science report, the last seven years have been the warmest the planet's ever recorded. Climate change is no longer something that can be ignored, but how to fight it is something not everyone agrees on. For investors, green finance products are still catching up, but they are progressing, and green bonds are perhaps one of the most important keys to helping finance sustainable ventures. These types of bonds are essentially just debt instruments that theoretically are put towards green projects, things like energy production or waste management, recycling, so on. But not all of them deliver. And some have suggested that money is maybe being raised dishonestly by using green bonds, but not spending on green purposes. There's even a term for it, greenwashing. Regulators are clamping down on this now. New rules recently set out in the UK and Australia will fine anyone exaggerating green claims when they're raising money. But blockchain technology could go one step further. By ensuring accountability, among other things, it ultimately can help boost the fight against climate change. Let's find out how with Dave Sandor. He's the co-founder and CEO of Alinfra, which works with companies to help them achieve sustainability goals. He's been speaking about all of this at Hong Kong FinTech Week. Ahead of the conference, though, he told us that while greenwashing is a big concern, things are changing. You see companies that you are, I guess, exposed by it all the, you know, all the time, whether it's, you know, in the auto industry, whether it's in, you know, whether it's in food, general industrial. I, I mean, look, there's plenty of examples that I think it's, it, it, it's quite pervasive, but I think it's, I think it's reducing and you have you know, people being held to account over it. I think these new technologies and processes are reducing its, you know, reducing its prevalence. The key, it seems, remains the issue of transparency, especially in climate-related financial products like green bonds. That means the value of any such product is closely tied to the underlying data proving just how environmentally sustainable it is. That's where blockchain comes in. We can, so for instance, with the green bond, collect data related to... Uh, the underlying funded project, um, direct from the asset that's being funded, um, and then we can tie that data to a traditional or digital financial instrument. And what that means is you're creating this permanent immutable record of supporting data for any of these financial products that can then be accessed by third parties. Um, and then you can permanently tie that record to the financial instrument. And it's these two elements together that really help improve the provenance of climate related products, reduce fraud, reduce greenwashing, make it easier to monitor where proceeds are being deployed, where their assets are performing as they should be performing and so forth. And so that's really where we're seeing, you know, blockchain technology combined with other technologies being applied. Another vital aspect of green finance is where blockchain is being used in the carbon market. Carbon markets essentially work by putting a price on carbon emissions. Countries or companies are then able to buy and sell credits depending on what they emit. This provides an incentive for businesses to ultimately reduce emissions, but it also helps reduce atmospheric carbon levels in general. Where we're seeing blockchain being used in that space is a number of areas. One, tokenization of the actual credit. So you're seeing a digital, digital form replacing traditional form or a traditional form being represented by digital form, or even a digital form representing a claim or a retired credit. And then something that we're very close to is in the measurement reporting and verification space. So that's where you're seeing blockchain being applied or new technologies being applied, um, combined with other technologies in the capture, uh, recording and reporting of project performance. And when those two things are tied together, I think you get a very, you know, very powerful product. While companies like Alinfra are working with private enterprise on meeting sustainability goals with blockchain, 
International agencies and governmental actors are also catching up. Project Genesis 2.0 was set up by the UN's Global Innovation Hub, as well as the Bank for International Settlements and the Hong Kong Monetary Authority. It looks into smart contract-based carbon credits attached to green bonds, and Alinfra helped develop one of the project's prototypes. The UN has been clear, however, that we're still not doing enough. So could blockchain ultimately help grow global commitments towards greener goals? We're seeing more and more focus on it. Um, uh, and it, it, it's been a big, it's been you know quite a big change. I think it's come to be front of mind for many corporates. And the application of technology is important because again, it's something where, particularly in, in economic environment like today, you want to make sure that you achieve your ESG goals and do it in the most efficient and cost-effective way possible. Blockchain may be doing something, but regardless, there's still a long way to go. All right, that's it for this episode. Like and subscribe to this video for more content like it and let us know your thoughts down below in the comments.